The ArcGIS Online web map is where we begin to build maps, author stories, and create web mapping applications. In this demonstration, I would like to show you some new features in the web map viewer. To do so, I will use emergency management examples based on recent disaster events in New Zealand. Let's start with discovering content in the Living Atlas of the World. The Living Atlas is the foremost collection of global geographic information used to support critical decision making. As you all know, in 2016 and 2017, we've experienced several natural disasters, including the Kaikoura earthquake, Port Hills fires, and flooding across the North Island. The Living Atlas has a special category for disaster-related data called Earth Observations. For fire-related incidents, check out the MODIS feed. These are satellite-detected hotspots for the previous 24 hours. For earthquakes, you can use the USGS Pager Alerts and Shake Maps. This is a useful feed for estimating impact immediately following earthquake detection. Now these are two examples of global sources of information. But some Living Atlas content originates right here in New Zealand. Live stream gauges. Now on our map, you can see live stream gauge status from the horizons region. With just a short search, we have added several live feeds to our map, which is very useful for situational awareness. Next, let's add some other sources of content from our New Zealand ArcGIS Online community. Here's a layer for looking at our New Zealand communities from a vulnerability standpoint. In this region, we can see the most deprived communities per the New Zealand Deprivation Index here in dark blue. But what if we want to focus on a particular target population that is not easily visualized through standard symbology? While you may be familiar with smart mapping, you might not have seen this new ability to symbolize by expression. Arcade is an expression language that can be used across the ArcGIS platform. Whether writing simple scripts to control how features are rendered, like here, or more complex procedures. In this expression, let's choose mesh blocks with the highest proportion of households without internet. This would help us focus and target our public outreach campaigns and evacuation notices based on location. Sometimes, we need to add geospatial content from outside the ArcGIS Online community. Here is a set of WFS layers from GNS, New Zealand's leading provider of geoscience data. I'll copy the URL. We can add this WFS layer right into our web map using the URL. We simply add it as a web layer, select the WFS option, and then get layers from their server. I'll scroll down to the GNS landslide data and I'll visualize it as points. We can see there are many landslide locations on the map. To quickly make better sense of these 3,000 points, I will use the analysis tools inside of ArcGIS Online to analyze patterns and find outliers. This tool will count the number of points within a designated area, in this case, a hexagon grid. By reading the tool description, we can see Find Outliers is a new tool that creates a map showing any statistically significant clusters and spatial outliers present in your data. Let's check out our results. You can clearly see from those 3,000 points, now some clusters of high values surrounded by low values. With the ArcGIS Online web map, I can discover great content from across the geospatial community, 
and begin exploring the data for further analysis. There is one more capability I wanted to share with you, and that is time enable layers. Let's look at how this is configured. As you can see from the description, this is a layer of flood reports by local civil defense and emergency management in the Auckland and Thames Coromandel region from March 2017. We have time enabled it by the date and time it was created. With time enabled layers, we can visualize archived incidents from the past, like these recent flooding events. This allows us to dynamically filter out flood points by date and time inside of the map, web map viewer. Or we can share this web map with the new time aware web mapping application. Time aware is a configurable app template that enables you to visualize time enabled layers in a web map using a time slider. This is useful for displaying changes in data over time with an easy to use and focused interface. These can also be embedded in story maps. New in this app is the live data option. This is particularly useful for forecast data where available, like in the United States where the National Weather Service has opened up all their forecast data. These forecasts are made available as time-enabled layers in the Esri Living Atlas. Here is a 72-hour rainfall total forecast. Imagine this capability to visualize the most up-to-date forecast, analyzing the potential impact to your assets and community in advance of the storm. As you can see, the web map is a gateway to great content from around the world in New Zealand. It's also an excellent tool for spatial analysis, to time enable our data, all of which allows us to be more prepared to respond and recover for the next disaster. I hope you found these emergency management examples interesting and you're excited to go out and try some of these new features. For more updates on what else you can do with the ArcGIS Online web map, read the What's New in ArcGIS Online blog. Thank you for watching.